And finally, the old saying, you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink, might, uh, it turns out, be rather unfair on horses because, according to a new study, it seems that horses are much more intelligent than we've given them credit for. Scientists say they can think and even have, sorry about this, nay trouble in planning ahead. Rhys Williams reports. They've been our faithful companions for thousands of years. Harry, fist bump. The inspiration behind oh some of the best-selling books and films of all time. Sit. Their loyalty and work ethic is well known. So too, their emotional intelligence. They pick up emotions really easily. So it's like if you're upset, they'll like come and comfort you and stuff. And if you're happy, then they'll pick up on that. Say if I come to a fence and I'm quite nervous, then he'll get nervous. And then when I'm like going into it with very positive thoughts, he's he just jumps it perfectly. Um, from my own perspective, which has been, you know, schooling horses and training them over a lifetime. All their senses are massively heightened from ours, which makes it appear as if they've got a sixth sense. For people who own and ride horses, their intelligence has never been in doubt. But this study seems to suggest they're even more clever than originally thought. In a three-stage experiment in which 20 horses needed to touch a target for rewards, researchers found that all of the horses changed their behaviour to get a treat, suggesting they are in fact able to think ahead and even strategize. It's a little bit like humans playing chess, so you can think a couple of steps ahead, if I move here then this might happen, and that's something that's actually quite complex and we didn't think horses could do that, but our study suggests that actually they might be able to do something similar to that. It's OK. Perhaps the old adage, you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink, is unfair. The horses knew exactly what they wanted all along. Rhys Williams, ITV News, The Gower Peninsula. Well, that is all from us for now.